Previously on Survivor Boston. After Jay quit the game, a tribe called Quest pushed forward, focusing on the next immunity challenge. In a game of Capture the Flag, Moses proved to be physically dominant by bringing his tribe to their second win of the season, sending Inferno to Tribal Council. The dominant alliance on Inferno, the four horsemen consisting of Brian, Izzy, Toby, and Daniela, began to target Lauren for her physical shortcomings. However, Lauren had the clue to the hidden immunity idol. No. Thank you, other team. I have the clue. Brian quickly got the clue from her and found the idol without her knowledge. On the other side of the aisle, Giselle, Elvis, and Lauren came up with a plan to blindside Daniela. Unfortunately, this plan quickly fell apart when Giselle and Elvis found out Lauren had thrown them under the bus, resulting in Lauren being voted out in a 6 to 1 vote. 14 are left. Who will be voted out tonight? I was the liar in the room. Really? <laughs> she was like, are you going to vote me out? And I was like, no. Because what am I going to be like, yeah. Who are they going to vote for me? I guess. So she, Lauren exclaimed that there was a uh, liar amongst us. And um, obviously that was me uh, because I pinky swore and I did the pinky swore where you like kiss the pinky swear. So it was like pretty serious. Do you think they know about the alliance we have? Definitely. Oh, yeah, I mean, everyone I like knows. Now yeah, cool. definitely now they do. For sure. Because, I mean, you, they were like, there's four. Like, four votes are secure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So. so, I voted Lauren to ensure that she would go home and to stick with the Izzy, um, Daniela, and Toby alliance that we had on the tribe. You, there's definitely, like, their camp is definitely big. Like, when you got there, did you feel isolated? Yeah. Because I don't want to, like, just be us and them. I mean, we can't really accomplish much with just two people. Exactly. So, we have no choice but to exactly. now. Yeah. Damn it, Brian, why'd you have to ask? Okay, Giselle. I was actually thinking of asking her out after tonight's travel council. And then, Brian asked, Ah, oh, you brought up the subject of tribal romance. And then Giselle said, Immediately, there is no romance. And I was just like, dawn. So, just, Daniela's not out of this, and Lauren's out, so I think we're in the clear. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm still trying to decide whether or not to just ask her out anyway, even though she said immediately there is no romance. So, if we lose this next challenge, what's our go to move? Yeah, I feel like it's too early to vote Elmasaf. Yeah. Yeah. The, the challenges, like we just need him. Even we though, like, him. he he does not care about the team at all. Mm. Like I was talking, I said it in my professional. I talked to them. I was like, he was the only one to go for the risk taker challenge. He refused to work as a team during the last challenge. Yeah. And the first thing he put in the group chat after we won was great teamwork. I'm like, <laughs> are you serious? That's very true. I thought that was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but let's try to win the next round. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And to avoid any suspicions, I told everyone after Tribal, I was like, I was like, yeah, the letter was me. Because she came up to me a few times and was like, hey, you vote me off, hey, you vote me off, hey, you vote me off. And like, I had to like reassure that I wasn't like totally sure what was going to happen, but I probably wasn't going to vote her off, which was totally not true. But um, but hey, it's, it's a game and I'm still here, so. <laughs> Tribe Calls Quest, take a look at the new Inferno. Lauren voted off at the last Tribal Council. Bye, Lauren. <laughs>
So, are you guys ready to get to today's immunity challenge? Sure. Yeah. 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 All right, first things first. I'll take back immunity. Thank you. Immunity is back up for grabs. Um, first things first, um, Sarah, you guys won the last immunity challenge. How do you feel in general? I mean, we're just pretty tight as a squad. Like, we feel really happy. Like, we, we are. are so much fun. Yeah. We, do. we have fun at the yeah. challenge. Um, our motto is live, love, love. <laughs> Danielle, how do you feel about your chat right now? We have had to like vote two people off, and obviously like that's shitty. But like we all, like, half of us hang out outside of this, and the rest of us we are like, afterwards. yeah, exactly. Like we all like care about each other. <laughs> that's honestly the sweetest thing. I'm glad you guys are all two big happy families. Drop your buffs. We are ah! switching tribes. You are We'll take him, we'll take him when you guys drop. Oh, okay. Boom. Yeah, I got blood on my we like it. Good luck whoever has it. I don't have okay. blood. We're gonna have one person pick at a time. Giselle, Brian, Daniela, Elvis, Peyton, and Kate. On the new Tribe Called Quest, we have Toby, Bruce, Sarah, Lexi, of course Izzy's hugging Lexi, and Bailey. We have two members switched from each side onto the other tribe. The rest, they have four originals on each tribe. Moses, you are a different scenario. Okay. You, will be <laughs> wow. yes. you will be exiled. You will not be participating in the next challenge. You will not be participating in the next tribal council. The good thing about this is that you are automatically safe for the next tribal council. Okay. Whoever's the next person voted off, you will be joining that tribe. So I replace whoever voted off. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that means that, um, that means good things. So no talking with anybody. Okay. At this point, Moses, we are now asking you to leave. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Have fun, guys. We're going to talk to you at Stay about, safe. Be warm. I got a tribe called Quest Buff, so I got to stay on the original tribe that I was on. But we lost Kate and Peyton, and we gained Toby and Izzy. So then Moses picked the Black Buff, so he didn't get put on either side. And he's not allowed to talk to any of us or know about anything that happened. He just had to go away. And I'm gonna Toby. be away from yes. next Thursday Toby. to next Thursday. So, yeah. I was like, oh sh this is bad. But then I kind of looked around a little bit, and I saw that Izzy was with me, very close ally, and Lexi, obviously a good friend of Izzy's. I like everyone on the new tribe. Inferno is a better name, I think. It's, you know, I mean, I love Tribe Called Quest, like the rap collective. 
but like as a name for a tribe, like I don't know, kind of weak. And Daniela, I think that she is like totally kick-ass. I really like her, and I think that like we're both really competitive. That'll be good for a while, but it might also, you know, turn against us. Are you guys ready to get to today's immunity challenge? Woo! Yes! 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 Oh! All right, yeah. for today's challenge, no. one member of each tribe will face off against each other. <laughs> All right, so one member of each tribe will be holding a cup full of rocks on a plate. The goal is to knock the cup off the other person's plate before they knock it off yours. Okay. First tribe to six points wins immunity. The other tribe, tribal council, I mean, with the third really person will be voted off of this game. All right, first up on Inferno, we'll have Brian. Yes! Yes, I'm training. All right, here we go. Do you, do you want to answer this? Yeah. Sure. Survivor's right. <laughs> go. Take a knee out if you have to. They both got such long arms. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You can do that, right? You can do that yeah. like that. As long as you're not hurting them, Bruce. Oh. Oh. That's one point for Chuck. Yeah. Round two, Izzy versus Kate. Survivor's ready. Go. Izzy tries to go for a grab. Oh my god, She's grabbing my hand. Oh. Oh. Izzy hands me something. I'm sorry. What the? <laughs> yes! oh! Kate oh scores god. for Inferno. We are tied, 1-1. One, one. Oh Kate and Kate and Sarah. Sarah. So Survivor's ready. Yeah. Go. 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 Aiden, you got yes, Sarah. You got it, Sarah. Sweet play. You're good, you're good, Sarah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Inferno. Round four. Elvis versus Toby. Inferno leads 2 1. Survivor's ready. Toby. Prove yourself. Prove yourself, Toby. Go. <laughs> oh, Elvis. 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 Elvis drops. We are tied. Elvis drops first. Yeah. Bailey versus Giselle. We are tied 2 2. Survivor's ready. Yes, go. Go. Register to Granny. Scores for a tribe called Quest. A tribe called Quest leads three, two. Oh my god! <laughs> Survivors ready. Go. Oh my god, this is so. Come on, Lexi. Oh, yeah. Daniela scores for Inferno. We are tied again, three, three. All right, Bailey versus Kate. We are tied, three, three. Playing to six. Survivors ready. Go. Oh, Bailey, please go, keep your feet go. on the ground. That was more of a joke. Oh. Small. Oh. Come on, Bailey. Oh. Hey, Kate. Come on, Bailey. Hey. Come Bailey getting close there. there. Come on. <laughs> my bad area. Oh. Yeah. Hey, traps for Inferno. A tribe called Quest leads 4 3. A tribe called Quest leads 4 3, playing to 6. All right, survivor's ready. Go. Come on, Izzy. Box her out. Both of them look extremely depressed being up. I'm not going to lie. Neither of them want to do this, I can tell. Makes an amazing save. Oh, oh, Izzy's he's dropped first. We are tied. Four four. Bruce taking on Elvis. We are tied four four. Survivors ready. Sur I didn't say go. Come on, Bruce. Go. Go, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. We're inside. Where do you think bees are coming from? Your hair looks awful! Kate, that's just way too personal! <laughs> Elvis scores for Inferno! Inferno leads 5-4. Daniela is playing for immunity. Toby playing to keep his tribe alive. It is 5-4 Inferno. Survivor's ready. Go! Toby, let's go. You can take her, Toby. She's oh, Daniela drops. Toby scores. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is it, five, five, four immunity. Survivor's ready. Wait, am I? Yes. Wow, Peyton's ready. Go! Chill with the thumb talk, okay? My thumbs are comfortable. You want it? Come get it, Peyton. I always fly, Lexi. Game I don't like those. Game points. Point. Oh. <laughs> Sending a tribal oh. quest to tribal council. Oh, yes. All right. Inferno, someone come take it. Sure. Yeah. Inferno, state's tribal council. No one will be going home. Okay. A tribal yes. quest. Okay. I'm very sorry to say one of you will be the third person voted out of Survivor Boston. We'll figure out what Tribal Council is. You guys are all done. Grab your stuff, head out. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. the one. Izzy came over and she was exuberant and she she, you know, she was talking and she was mingling. I mean, she already knows some of us, so that gives her some a good advantage in, in integrating with the team early. And Toby didn't really do that. I think that's what's going to be what sends him home. Bruce came up when I was set to face Bruce. He's very physically imposing. He's tall, he's toned, he was showing off his arms this time with the tank top. Since I f***ed up the first time, I really didn't want to do it again the second time. So I was determined, I was focused, um, I really didn't want to let Bruce get close to me. People would often leave themselves an opening. Um, the hand holding the plate would come in closer to their body as they were going in for the attack. So that's the moment I was waiting for. Bruce to let me, to give me. Uh, when he came in, um, I gave him a little push with my hand and then just BOOM! It got me good. It, it kind of reminded me, alright, the first time was just an accident, you were getting into the swing of things, but now you're all in, you're focused. Uh, you got the hang of it. Now go get him. When Moses was the player that was kind of in between, I think Moses is probably the strongest or one of the strongest players, so I was kind of thinking like maybe we'll lose and it'll be good because then we can get Moses. Elvis seems like a really strong player but there's a lot of talk about him having an immunity idol um, which is kind of problematic. On my way out, uh, me and Giselle rode the elevator back down and I was, I had decided to ask her out this time uh, since I didn't have the balls to last time after the heartbreak of what Brian said. Um, but I didn't have the balls, so I got off on my floor, I went to my room, and then I had a huge, sick feeling in my stomach, and I said, no, I'm not going to leave things like this. So I got back on the elevator, went down to her floor, knocked on her door, and asked her out to lunch. She said no. Uh, but, uh, I'm glad I did it, got that off of my mind, uh, things are still friendly between us, she's still my go-to person. I think our alliance has been developed a little further because of this. And um, it makes me less guilty about betraying her in the future. I don't even, I can't even tell if I put up a good fight. Eventually, like, it got, like, evened out to where everybody on my tribe had played a second round except for me and Lexi. Um, so... My tribe chose Lexi to go off for the last round. Now, that makes me think that I'm viewed as the weakest link on my tribe. So that's a problem right now. Um, right after the challenge, Toby and I like kind of looked at each other and we like got pretty nervous because we knew that like it was going to be one of us because we were like the new guys in the tribe, you know, because we were the only ones who switched over. But then right after the challenge, we were all walking back to my room and Sarah Duvall like immediately jumped in. At the first challenge, apparently, Bailey found a clue to where the idol was yeah. in um, the marker box, and we know this for sure because he, he found it, and he said, oh, sh a clue, and Peyton saw it, and he didn't know that Peyton saw it, and he stuck it in his pocket and didn't tell any of us, so we know that he has a clue to where the idol is. Okay. We don't know if he found it or not. I'm pretty sure that I'm on the chopping block this week because I wasn't chosen to play again. Also, the, the dictator of that was Bailey. 
who is my target for the week because he definitely like did not even give me the slightest eye and um i'm gonna prove that dick wrong so here we go do you guys want to go for bailey this one yeah I don't know anything because I just got I was a little here. scared because like I thought we'd like, get targeted. <laughs> I know, right I was like um, in terms of voting somebody off, Sarah, Izzy, Toby, and I came together and decided to vote off um Bailey because they think he is the immunity idol, which he doesn't. I do. But I've made them believe that he is the immunity idol. We think Bailey has an idol. For okay. like for like a good ninety percent. Is it safe sure? to go for him then? Because he might play it. No, if he doesn't He's if he so plays calm. it, I kind of feel bad because Bailey and I have like, he trusts me, but like, what can you do? He's the only person that knows I have the immunity idol. And it came to a point when um, the old A Tribe Called Quest was meeting. Peyton was like, no, I saw Bailey get a clue. So at that point, I couldn't be like, like stick up for him or anything. I had to be like, oh man, like if he found the clue, he must has the idol. Like he must have the idol. Um, just to kind of get that target off my back. If he plays it, he's out. Like, I mean, the, the, the idol, idol is out. out. Um, but he, if we, like, honestly, if we're like, yeah, everyone's voting for, like, for Bruce. Like, you gotta Bruce vote for Bruce. Bruce. Okay. That's okay. It's, it's, it's me. There's already been a plan kind of discussed on a little bit of trickery. The plan is, like I said, me, Izzy, and Lexi. That'll be, like, pretty good three. And then Sarah wanted to jump on board to get Bailey out. Only problem is Bailey has the immunity idol. Honestly, I can talk to Bailey tonight and be like, we're voting Z out or Toby, whichever one works. That's up to you too. It can be me because yeah, I like, like he gave knows her that you and Lexi are friends, so yeah. I don't know if you believe that coming from you. You wouldn't Fair. want to vote out your friend. I think it's oh. the same. Okay. That's a good point. True. Do you want to talk to Bailey then? We gotta thank her. It like well, first let's decide if it's me or Toby. I'm fine with it being me. I want to. You want, want to be you? you? Okay. Yeah. Well, like, you know. <laughs> Toby's like, I love the attention. What can I say? <laughs> so it's going to be Lexi, Sarah, and Bruce, and Bailey saying they're voting for me. But Lexi and Sarah will not. Hopefully. I have to put a lot of trust in Sarah, but I think she'll come through and I'll be okay. There, there will be votes for me, though. Should we want. talk to Bruce? But make sure, like, Bruce knows so I yeah. actually don't get voted. The numbers, if I'm not currently being blindsided, um, would be me, Lexi, Izzy, and Toby all voting out Bailey. Um, so Bailey would leave the tribe. However, I don't know how trusting I can be, and I don't know whether or not I should talk to Bruce. Yeah, regardless, we would have the majority. Also, like, <clears throat> I don't I know can how to Bailey close and be like, Bruce is to like Bailey. Bruce is a wild card. I don't know how close he is to Bailey. I don't know if he would tell Bailey if I told him we were going to vote him out. Very sticky situation. I feel like Bruce is really nice to me though. So, I mean, I, he's just a nice guy, but like, I, I, I don't know what to talk to him about. Uh, I think we had a pretty good, I think we had a pretty good um, effort at the challenge. I think, I think even though we were a brand new team, uh, we had two new members. I think we, uh, as uh, as a tribe called Quest, I think we pulled together pretty well. Uh, who are you thinking about voting off this week? I think someone from the red team. Like, yeah. The the rumor on the wind right now is that Toby's the one uh, we're going to be sending home. Which is a shame because he did just as well as I did at the challenge. But uh, he is the new guy. We know him the least. Um, we all kind of know Izzy and like Izzy already. So that's protected her this week. I'm thinking, switch to our team. I'm thinking Toby, if only for the fact that a lot of people on the team seem to like Izzy and that bond will be important That's going for, uh, forward. Because you know, both of them performed pretty well on, uh, on the Thursday. Yeah. And I think it really is just the fact that a lot of people. Yeah. And like it sucks that it comes I down agree. to that, but I, I think as a cohesive team moving forward, Izzy's going to be better for Team Moran. Bruce is still Bruce. Cool guy, great guy, uh, good teammate. I still a little, I feel like he's working some angle. I feel like there's something I'm not picking up. That I can't quite put my finger on it, but it seems, he seems suspicious. Oh, I think this is going great. Survivor Boston is really fun to play. Trouble Council tomorrow night, I think it's, it's gonna be tough for us because we have new members and because most of us are previously blue team. We have more people. 
yeah, the yeah. Blue team, so we yeah. Like focus on the uh, blue team. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Blood. I mean, yeah. Worst case scenario, we now have uh, Moses. Moses. Blank those names for a second. Yeah, now we have Moses again. Exactly, and that could be. Our... I think that'd be good. Moses. I'm gonna be sorry to see Toby go. But I'd rather vote him off than someone we've already got a good dynamic with. And also, it's not really lost because we will have Moses back. And Moses is probably one of our strongest players. We're on the same team, though. And I love that so much. I know. I feel like it's going to be bad, though. Because, like, we're not going to get anything done. No. The Four Horsemen and I, like, we all, like... We've said many times, like, in secrecy that, like, we're staying loyal to each other, and, like, they know that, and Danny and Brian know, and they trust me and Toby, that, like, Toby and I may seem like we're staying loyal to Tribe Conquest, and, you know, like, we're gonna really, we're gonna be good actors about it, but, like, we're, we're always gonna stay loyal to, um, the original Inferno, and, like, um, Four Horsemen, and I told Danny and Brian that, like, if Toby and I ever hear anything that would benefit Inferno, we're gonna tell them, you know? Cause like, we aren't a part of this new tribe, but we started off with that Four Horsemen Alliance and we're gonna stay to it. So Bailey's definitely going along with the plan. I saw Bruce briefly and Bruce was like, who are you voting off? And I was like, I'm not sure. Some people have been thinking Bailey, some people have been thinking Toby. Cause I know we weren't sure where we stood with Bruce. Yeah, cause we don't know if Bruce is like, alliance, alienized. After Bailey though, I want Bruce gone because I think he's too good. And we'll have Moses, so we don't need Bruce. God, you're cutthroat. True. I mostly want Kate and Peyton and Daniela gone from the other team, though. <gasps> and I love them all, but they're all so smart and good. And don't athletic. you dare touch Danny. I personally have no control over who the red team votes off. Don't touch Danny. No, they would never vote Danny. She's like their ringleader. Oh my god, she did. Oh my god, she That's called all the That's problematic, though. A, I love Izzy. She's like one of my really good friends. B, I think she's a weaker player. Immediately when we were talking about kind of blindsiding Bailey, she was like, that's on me. And like, I don't know, we should just, we should not blind, like we should just like not talk to him. And we were like, all right, like. But like, where does, <laughs> where do my dogs think I am right now? Oh my God, do they think I'm dead? Sean sent me pictures of puppies that he <laughs> Wait, let's see if I'm having a moment. They don't think you're dead. I'm like I'm really nervous. There was a part of me where it's like, honestly, like I trust you all so much, but there's a point one percent part of me where it's like it's gonna be me. I will. It's not. I mean, Bailey. We're all, no, here's the thing. We're all voting for Toby. Yeah. yeah. That's a majority. That's huge. Even if no one else votes for Toby, Toby's Toby's gone. Toby seemed like a really nice guy. I don't know why, but everyone immediately seemed to turn against him. Even if, even if, who else, who else in there? Izzy, Izzy, Izzy and Toby. So, so even if, you know, Izzy doesn't vote for Toby, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. She's gotta vote for Toby. It's gonna be five votes for Toby and one vote for Izzy, and it's gonna be incredibly awkward for all of us. Yeah. And Jacob's gonna be like, Toby, Toby. This is gonna be me. <clears throat> Like, I'm not making I'm eye contact with anybody this entire time. I just am definitely scared that I'm gonna get voted out. Toby, I'm not sure if I should be getting him out. I would not be too upset losing Toby. And also, we we think that Bailey might have an idol. I know I volunteered to be like the bait. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can trust Sarah? I think we can because Sarah and Lexi are like obviously um, tribe mates. So Sarah would tell Lexi if she was like plotting something and then Lexi would obviously tell me. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can trust Sarah. Toby was in the room when we were talking about it, frankly. I could see him going nuts. <laughs> Today. Izzy is really active. She is just, you know, like and someone who is supportive and encouraging all the time is really helpful. And, I mean, I'm not saying like, Toby, Toby's not like a supportive guy. He's great, but like, I don't know. It's just like, you know, it's the way I feel. So I think the trend might be this, us voting up Bobby. Is this a moment with an ex-girlfriend. We were in a show together. And like, uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what happens going forward. I don't think it really 
works against me personally. I've still got Lexi and I'm still getting along really well with the team. Izzy and I are good friends, so... Yeah, I feel good about my game right now. Sarah, really nice. Um, I really appreciate that she kind of like jumped on my side right away. I, th I hope, I think. But she's lying to me, that'd be kind of shady. I am a little worried. I'm gonna get votes this time, which is a little scary. I'm kind of, I kind of like put myself out there as bait. But hopefully all goes according to plan. And Bailey doesn't play that immediate idol, which I've heard he has. Those of you who have not been to Tribal Council before, in this game your buff represents your life. So when you're voted off, we take your buff from you and we drown it in water. <laughs> because we do not have fire because we are inside and never in college. So we tribe swapped, clearly. And obviously we have four original A Tribe Called Quest members and two original Inferno members. Toby, is that necessarily a bad thing that it's only two of you from your original tribe? Um. Yeah, I'd say so, because we had a very tight-knit alliance on Inferno Tribe that was split in half. So, kind of a big curveball that we have to adjust. So, Izzy, do you think that you are on the chopping block because you're from a different tribe and there's only two of you compared to four of them? I, I was worried about that, like, right after we lost the um, challenge, just because, like, it's a totally logical, you know, fear. Like, Toby and I are, like, the new kids, like, they don't know if they can trust us because we just did come from, like, the opposing tribe. But pretty soon after um, the challenge, a few of us, like, all met together and we just, like, discussed, like, what we wanted to do so that I felt safer about it. Sarah, do you think that Toby and Izzy should be worried about the next tribal council? It's so awkward. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's like. What if one of them has an immunity idol? So, Bailey, that's a great question. What if Toby or Izzy have an immunity idol? Well, then I'll see you guys next week. Or, at the end of the season. I'm making the joke that I'm getting voted off. I didn't play well. <laughs> <laughs> it's always better to be self-deprecating than say someone else is going to get voted off. Are you crazy? So, Toby, what can you do to try to save yourself in this case? Um, I don't know, maybe just hope that my tribe evaluates what I bring to the team as a player. You know, I performed well in the last challenge, so hopefully they take that into consideration. But then again, this is a long-term game. Lexi, is it smarter to take out the new players that just joined your tribe, or is it smarter to kind of rope them in and make them new family members and get rid of someone who was in your older tribe? I think that's not really the strategy in which I have been playing this game. What is the strategy you've been using? The strategy in which I have been using is determining players that I want to play with when the merge happens. So then on this tribe, who do you want to play with? I would like to play with everyone on this tribe. I love that answer. I love you. Bruce, as much as you love that answer, she can't play with everyone on this tribe. Someone's about to be voted out. So then Bruce, how do you decide who you're going to vote for? I guess based on the, the previous challenges, the um, contribution of each member, I guess. So then you're judging it on who didn't contribute the most in the last challenge? Part of it, performance and, and being supportive. So then who does that narrow it down to? Who are the people that weren't pulling the weight in the last challenge? I think everybody was participating really well. Everybody was part of the team, you know, doing their own stuff, so. Well then what do you base this vote on if clearly, apparently everyone pulled their equal weight in the challenge and you're saying, that the only thing you can cast this vote on is the challenge. Because you have to make a decision. Well, I guess we just have to take some time and think about it. All right, let's do a quick little tally. Raise your hand if you feel safe tonight. All right. So then, Toby, you didn't raise your hand. You clearly don't think you're safe. If you're voted off tonight, what are your last thoughts? Do you think that there's something you could have done better? Or what's your last plea? I could have stayed on the red team. Oh, no. That would, that would <laughs> so Sarah, that's a very obvious statement. Clearly yeah. he feels more comfortable with his old red tribe members. I think that's just, like, obvious. Because obviously he's not tied to our team. 
Like, it's not a secret. Like, it's pretty obvious where the divide lies here. All right, on that note, it is time to vote. I feel like putting a heart over it uh, makes it better. Sorry, buddy, maybe next time. This is just crazy enough to work. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be your time to do so. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Bailey. Toby. Toby. That's two votes, Toby. One vote, Bailey. Bailey. That's two votes, Bailey. Two votes, Toby. Bailey. That's three votes, Bailey. Two votes, Toby. One vote left. Third person voted out of Survivor Boston. Bailey. Bailey, can you bring your buff? Bailey, I'm sorry, but the tribe has spoken. You can head out straight to Kier. Give you your last words in a minute. First vote as a new tribe, first blind side. You guys are really mastering the art of this game. Grab your stuff and head on out. Good night. So we're not losing Wait. Again. Next time on Survivor Boston, Bruce is left in the dark after last tribal council. The reason why we didn't want to go for Toby. And the contestants face a new twist. What? What? Oh, what? I guess the first thing to say is, as with most things in my life, it is really my hubris that is my downfall. It really stings because we all met beforehand and we're like, we're gonna vote Toby off. I thought I was doing pretty well in the competition. And I'm not really sure why I went home. Um, definitely hurts a bit. Um, but you know what? I don't hold any grudges against them. Uh, I hope one of them wins. Good luck, guys.